but President Obama will not say that. Hillary Clinton will not say that. They don't. They do not identify Islamism as the threat, as the problem. That Senator Cruz yesterday. Want to play here what he says about surveillance programs in New York City, and then you'll hear President Obama rebuking Senator Cruz. Senator Cruz appeared on CNN yesterday. You know, it has been interesting in the last 24 hours when I called for proactive policing directed at radical Islamic terrorism. The reaction from Democrats, Mayor de Blasio here in New York held a press conference blasting me, attacking me. It's an example where Democrats are more concerned about political correctness than they are about keeping us safe. And, and that's why people are so fed up. We need a commander in chief whose priority is keeping the American people safe. And that's what I'll do. All right, there's Senator Cruz, word of the day, Islamism. Well, that, uh, again, that, that's a mix-up of Islam and fascism. It was, it was coined about 10 years ago, so it's, it's nothing particularly new. But he's, he's right, and the media is pretending that it doesn't exist. And the media continues to do this routine where any time who says things like, well, of course we ought to be expending further law enforcement resources in area most likely to have terrorists, they go, oh, how dare you say such a thing? That's crazy. That's crazy talk that you're saying this kind of stuff. President Obama in Argentina yesterday responded and rebuked Senator Ted Cruz. Any approach that would single them out or target them for discrimination is not only wrong and un-American, but it also would be counterproductive because it would reduce the strength, the antibodies that we have to resist terrorism. As far as the notion of having surveillance of neighborhoods where Muslims are present, I just left a country that engages in that kind of neighborhood surveillance. Which, by the way, the father of Senator Cruz escaped for America, the land of the free. The notion that we would start down that slippery slope makes absolutely no sense. It's contrary to who we are. And it's not going to help us defeat ISIS. I know yeah, you do it. surveillance mean like, like France does, right? That's the country that he just lets you just leave France, because France is exactly that. Oh, so he's referring to Cuba. Oh, well, oh, oh wait, he wasn't referring to like New York under, Bill, uh, under, under, under Bloomberg? Because Bloomberg did exactly the same. I believe the question, actually, that was asked it's, was about that. It's pretty fascinating, though, that, that he idea. talks about America being the land of the free now, that he's no longer in Cuba. But when he was in Cuba, he was like, you guys want democracy or capitalism? I'm not going to tell you that that's the best system, but, you know, you're on your own. You know, that picture well, that he took in front of the Shea Guevara statue, that wasn't the worst thing in that picture. The building right behind that is the Ministry of the Interior. You can see it in the back. It looks like a garbage heap. The Ministry of the Interior is basically the KGB headquarters in Cuba where they torture dissidents. Okay, and he took a picture right in front of that thing. He didn't have anything to say about Raul Castro, to Raul Castro, about any of those things while he was there. Nothing. Not one word. But the minute he gets out of there, then he immediately compares Ted Cruz to the Cuban dictator who he was making out with five minutes ago. Well, the truth is, we're not happy with the ballgame. We don't know what the private conversations were. That, that, that they're not